Hi everyone, I'll be talking about fake micro SD cards and the importance of using ValidDrive for verification. You've just bought a brand new micro SD card for your phone or camera, but how do you know if it's the real deal? Unfortunately, the market is flooded with counterfeit cards that can cause data loss, corruption, or even damage your device. Fake micro SD cards often look identical to genuine ones, making it tough to spot the difference. They might even display the correct storage capacity on your device, but in reality, they have much less space. So how do you protect yourself? That's where Valid Drive comes in. It's a free program that helps you verify the capacity of your storage devices. So let's see how it works. I'm going to grc.com slash validdrive.htm and I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna download it. Open up my downloads folder. I'm gonna start Valid Drive. So it says to check USB drive. You can use this to check any type of storage that's connected to the USB port. So to check a micro SD card, I'm using an adapter. I'm gonna hit check USB drive. And here it says to introduce the drive you wish to validate. If it's already plugged in to unplug it, then replug it back in. So mine was already unplugged. Now I'm gonna plug it in. It says device inserted and Drive's declared size, 537 gigabytes. I'm going to validate this drive. Okay, it's done. Hit close. All right, and here it gives the report. So the declared drive size is 537 gigs, but the validated drive size is only 30 gigs. So it's really only a 30 gig drive and the highest valid region. So this is the last valid area at 30.8 gigabytes. So what happens if you write 500 gigs of data on it? Well, after 30 gigabytes, it will just start from the beginning again and overwrite what you just wrote. And it'll keep doing this until 500 gigabytes has been written. Windows won't know and think that everything is fine. So there are no checks done to see if everything is okay. So it's really misleading. It's only after when you go and try to open up the files, then you'll have an issue. Next is the hub or drive vendor and the drive product. And you got the serial number. And we can see here what's validated and everything else is on no storage. And below here we have performance details. So performance details for read and write. So samples is the total number of read and write operations that were performed. 1,152 samples. So it's broken down to two by 576. So it will do two reads and two writes performed for every region. So minimum is the fastest read time. And this is in microseconds. So 8,647 microseconds or 8.6 milliseconds for read and 6.3, 6.4 milliseconds for write. And maximum, this is the longest time that it took to do a sample. So read is about 54.6 milliseconds. And for the write is 2.08 milliseconds or two seconds, 2.08 seconds, which is quite high just to do a write. And you got the average time here. So 50 milliseconds and 72 milliseconds. And the median. So if you have a list of all of the samples, this is the one in the middle. So it's about 52.8 milliseconds and 12.5, 12.6 milliseconds for write. So standard deviation. So we got all the time samples. If we have a low standard deviation, that means the data was all clustered tightly around the average, while a high standard deviation means that the data was more spread out. So lower is preferred. And we got variance here. It's the measure of the dispersion of the data samples around the average. So it's how much the data samples vary, lower is better. And you got 0 0.207 microseconds and 4.692 microseconds. And here's the total time that it took to do the read. So about 58 seconds here and about 83 seconds for write. And the percent is it breaks down the amount of time. So 41% for read and 59% for write. Now I'm going to test a legitimate micro SD card. Check USB drive. I'm going to plug it in. All right. 
Declared size is about 63 gigabytes. I'm going to validate. And hit close. And got to scroll down for report number two. And the first thing you'll notice, declared drive size, 63 gigabytes. Validated drive size is also the same. And the highest valid region is the same. And you can see here it's all green, which is good. It's all validated. So here's the performance details. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the report and do a comparison. And hit save. And comparing with the first report, we can see the minimum. The time is significantly lower for the read and for the write. So the maximum, the highest, was seen as 103 milliseconds compared to 54 milliseconds over here. And the write, 142 milliseconds compared to 2 seconds over here. And if we look at the average, there's a significant difference, 50 milliseconds. 1.5 milliseconds, 72 milliseconds, 1.1 milliseconds. The median here, 52.8 compared to 1.3, 1.4, and 12.5 compared to just only 694. And the standard deviation, 10,421 compared to 4,251. And the right, 337831 versus 7275. So it's much lower for the right. And you got the variance here 0 0.207. The variance is uh, slightly higher 2.786 and 4.692 versus 6.323. And most importantly, the total time it took to do the test. So this is about 58 seconds, where it only took 1.8 seconds or so and 83 seconds versus 1.3 seconds. So the fake micro SD card, not only you're getting less space than advertised, but the average read and write speed is significantly slower. And the validated drive size of 30 gigabytes, can you really depend on it to hold your data? So when buying micro SD cards, it's important to buy from reputable sellers and avoid deals that seem too good to be true. Always check reviews and feedback. Once you buy a micro SD card, do a quick valid drive check just to make sure everything is okay. Fake cards not only waste your money and time, but also put your valuable data at risk. It's just not worth it. So that's it about valid drive. I hope this video was useful and I thank you for watching.